Hey guys, all right, let's go ahead and start talking about limits at infinity. So um, we've been talking a lot about taking limits at points. So for example, uh, limit as x approaches c of f of x, that tells us how the function f of x behaves uh, when x is close to c. So in other words, how f of x behaves near x equals c. Um, so when x is really close to c, this limit tells us how f of x is going to behave, what it looks like it's going to do, and so on. Um, similarly, we can take limits at infinity. So if we say limit as x approaches plus infinity of f of x, uh, that tells us how f of x behaves when x goes really far to the right. So in other words, if we take x and send it really far off to the right towards positive infinity, then this limit tells us how the function is going to behave, what it looks like it's going to do. And um, we also have the limit as x approaches negative infinity, and that tells us uh, how f of x behaves when x goes really far to the left. So um, if we take x, send it really far to the left towards negative infinity that way, um, then this limit is going to tell us how the function f of x behaves, what it looks like it's going to do, uh, and so on. So let's see a simple example of this here. Um, it's pretty straightforward with the graph. <clears throat> so if we look at this function f of x, uh, we have 4 divided by x minus 3 plus 2. And um, this function has a vertical asymptote at x equals 3 and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. So let's go ahead and take the limits at positive and negative infinity. So let's say limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x. So what's that going to equal? Well, let's see what happens if x goes really far to the right. Because um, remember, that's what this limit means. So we're going to take x, send it off to positive infinity. When we do that, um, x is going to shoot off that way. right? It's going to go really far to the right. Um, and we see what's going to happen with our function. So let's follow along the blue curve here. As x goes really far to the right, uh, where are the y values going? Well, we see they're getting uh, closer and closer to the horizontal asymptote, right? So as x shoots off that way, um, this function f of x is getting closer and closer to this green horizontal asymptote here, uh, which is y equals 2. So as x goes to positive infinity, the y values, or in other words, the uh, values of f of x, so remember, this is y equals f of x. Um, those are getting closer to 2. So when x goes to positive infinity, y is going to 2. So we say that this limit uh, is 2. All right. So that's if we go to positive infinity. What if we send x to negative infinity? Well, then let's see what happens. So this is limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x equals what? Well, now um, x approaches negative infinity. So that means we take x and send it really far off to the left. So let's see what happens. Uh, if we take x here and send it really far off to the left, where's the function going? Well, really far off to the left this way, we're going to follow along the blue curve here, and it looks like the values of y are getting closer to 2, right? Now they're on the other side, but that doesn't actually matter. Um, but as x goes off to negative infinity, the values of y are getting closer and closer to the horizontal asymptote. So um, because the horizontal asymptote is y equals 2, then we say that this limit is 2, right? So uh, you can see here that... Um, Limits at infinity, they're kind of related to horizontal asymptotes, right? So, um, and you might also be wondering, are they always the same? You know, this was 2, this was 2, are they always the same thing? And uh, for rational functions, um, well, for most rational functions, yeah, if you have an oblique asymptote, uh, it'll be a little bit different. But um, if you just have horizontal asymptote like this, then yeah, they'll be the same. But we'll see some examples of that in the next few videos. And uh, you might have some other functions that aren't rational functions where you'll have something different. Um, let's take a look at one real quick uh, before we move on to the next video. So let's get rid of all this here. Um, let's look at the inverse tangent function. So if you're not familiar with that, um, it's okay, you can skip ahead to the next video. Uh, but remember the inverse tangent function, um, or in other words, arctan of x. So let's go ahead and look at that function, uh, y equals arctan of x. So if we want to graph that, um, x-axis, y-axis. So if you'll remember from your uh, pre-calc or trig days, it kind of sort of looks a little something like this. And it could be a little better, I guess. Um, so let's extend that a little bit. So remember, the inverse tangent function has uh, horizontal asymptotes, right? It's got one... Uh, up here, this horizontal asymptote is 
y equals pi over 2. And this horizontal asymptote down here is y equals negative pi over 2. Right? And this is the function y equals arctan of x, or in other words, the inverse tangent function. So let's calculate some limits here. Um, and again, from the graph, it is fairly straightforward, but it's worth going over for the introduction. Uh, so limit as x approaches positive infinity. And remember, that plus sign isn't really required, but it's good to have just for clarification um, of arctan of x equals what? Uh, equals, um, well, there's really, you can't really do any direct substitution here because uh, positive infinity and negative infinity, they aren't really real numbers. So uh, we can't just directly substitute, but we can look at the graph here and see, okay, what's going to happen? Um, and we see that as x goes off to positive infinity, y is going to go to pi over 2, right? It's approaching this asymptote up here. So as x goes really far to the right, the values of y are getting closer and closer to this asymptote here. So the limit as x goes to positive infinity of arctan of x is pi over 2, all right? And uh, similarly, the limit as x goes to negative infinity of arctan of x uh, if we look at the graph here, we see as x goes off to the left, really far out to the left, uh, if we follow along the blue curve here, the uh, values of y are getting closer and closer to this asymptote down here, which is y equals negative pi over 2. So this limit is negative pi over 2. Right? So we see here that um, the limit at positive infinity and the limit at negative infinity, they aren't necessarily the same thing always. Um, for simple rational functions with horizontal asymptotes, yeah, they're going to be the same. But if you have an oblique asymptote, or um, if you have more complicated functions that aren't really rational, then yeah, you might have different uh, limits here. So we'll see some more examples in the next few videos.